Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch Cowboy Bebop, the live action episode seven. If you haven't seen one through six, make sure you back that thing up and check it out so that you can be up to speed. And the better way to be up to speed is to make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon for up to date notifications. Playboy is still around. Thank you. For three. Sounds like one too many dinner guests to me. I'm but a simple man with simple <laughs> tastes. Ah. Still with the migrants? Shh. He just had his brain County. probed. Recent. Experience. Ah, she got her little O face, and now look. Three. Look at this Leatherman and yeah, Playboy. <laughs> Yo, she got turned out. Listen, not to upend your. I bet you are. Uh, journey. But uh, you know that's not real, right? Fantasy. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Come yeah, on, man. Fish is you. supposed to be relaxing. What's this position? Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. This me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that right cross was kind of nice. Okay. You get oh, that she took one it in stride. You got some brass ovaries coming in here after <laughs> brass everything ovaries? you did. I need a lift. <laughs> All right, really? that's a, that's what? the new thing, oh, right? You should know, I've been crewing with cowboys, and last I remember, there is a fat-ass bounty on your head. It is quite a lot. So you want me to lie to them? Not lie. Never. Tell stories. Nice stories. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to get a chance to see who Faye Valentine really is and her fake mama. Thank God she has you two for backup. Backup, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Migraine. What's a, what's, what's going on? Oh! Oh! Uh. Probably worked. Ah! <laughs> 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 Jet, you know, if we leave now. That begs a follow-up. Oh. Mm -hmm. You just see, I'm on the lab. <laughs> Pocket full of bills. Goodness. She's really like laying it on thick. He was just awful to Faye. It's amazing the things you can accomplish when you appeal See, to a man's appetite. <laughs> everybody loves a nice story. Okay. Really, well, um, she does own the bottle. I'm gonna give you two a moment. Who's to say that won't happen if I stay? She does have a point there. I've always liked warp portals. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Is that ginger? Let me have a taste. I see. Do you want your identikit? <laughs> or not? Do you need better to play ball? I haven't oh seen you on all over again. That's because it is Something a gosh. Off. Look at Faye's body language. Mm -hmm. Look at he's checking out the mom. Defensive. Right. Like he's cornered or something. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the daughter relationship? Uh, Not me. A lot of facts to that, You're though. Jealous. The boys oh. adore me, and of course they do. What's not to adore? Try these panties on. If I'm locked up, you can French kiss all hopes of ever knowing your past. Goodbye. Schooled. Explaining much. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, mama is on it. She got the lies down and pat. On that note, who wants to eat? At least not while he's still alive. Whoa. Hint. Goodness. I actually like her even more. She's a goddamn con artist. <laughs> Either Faye's getting taken on. Well, she's in on it. Yeah. Oh, shit. So you have brain damage? No. Well, Me technically, yes. yes. I don't know, Dickwad. <laughs> All I know is that when I woke up, I didn't remember who I was, where I was from, or why I was there. And you played me. Yeah. That I did always happen. do have my suspicions. Spike! Okay. <laughs> For you, quite garbage. Holy shit. <laughs> it's the mink. The most notorious arms dealer in the solar system. Shit. Oh, shit. It's also fact. 
and your ship. What? Uh, Mr. Mink. You? Look, you've got the wrong ship, right? We're just... Hello. Oh, so much for that. Lobov Moya. Did you truly believe you could run from me? Minky. Minky. <laughs> to fuck off. Oh, yes. Was most clear. I made vows. Are they married? Your husband? You guys are married? Allow me to handle this. This is a lover's quarrel. <laughs> First. The hell he does! <laughs> you are disgusting. Ravishing. Look, look, look. He's getting all worked up. Husk. Liat. Look, what are you doing? I'll fix it later. We need to get off this ship and triple time. That thing is destroyed. Jet, please. I'm turning her in. You lied and brought your con mom aboard my ship. <laughs> your now con mom. all over my ass. Fairness, it is a... Grapes, candies of the gods. So rare. Look at that. Look at this dude. The three of us together. The sixty-seven. I need to pour my wine like aromas that. of wild berries and dark chocolate. Hedonistic, but profoundly luxurious mouthfeel. Profoundly luxurious mouthfeel. I gotta remember that. Not feeling. Can we get to the scheming, please? <laughs> right to business. Very good. What are those? Those yams? Galileo Hustle. He did good, huh? <laughs> I like to think we make each other happy. Uh, I trusted her. She knew that as she You trusted alive. Faye Valentine? Maybe that's on you and not her. Jesus Christ. And if you've done your exercises, like I told you, I mean, nobody likes parking a exercises. motorcycle in a two-car garage. All right. Wow. And there's nothing wrong with my garage. Hmm. You know, marital strife rarely inspires good decisions. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm asking. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> Change tire. Oh, wouldn't want to break a nail trying that to is a tiny car. Hide. Certainly not. I just had them done. Kimmy's recital's about to start. Well, you're not gonna make it now. I'm gonna take the call in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's fair. <laughs> Why is everybody's family problems my problems? I'm the orphan. It's more wow for the woo than the lilies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like them all chumming it up. Wow, look at that. I like that. Wow, so I take it this is her stash spot. I'd fight the world Come to on. make sure I showed up. Come on, Spike. You got it. Has he got a bucket on his foot? <laughs> I have money. It's a one-seater, but we'll make it work. Hey, there goes Face Ship. I was waiting for us to find it. Living free, no one telling us. <laughs> Dang. Come on, Spike, you're gonna be all right. <laughs> My man just had to dip. <laughs> the videotape. Fuck are you? It's a VCR tape. <laughs> Now, please go save Spike. My man's been fighting for the whole recital. No, I'm good. Good as can be, actually. Oh! And the mink? Wait, hey, that's not, not the mink, mink too? No. Was there another tracking device? I want to kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks my heart, but I must kill you. Peace to it. Whoa. We make love. <laughs> what? Yes, we will. What is happening right now? Oh, what is happening? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Um. <sighs> You're gonna need an amazing father. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, all that really matters is Faye got her ship. I think it's probably worth like a million dollars now. <laughs> hey. Not bad. Uh, okay, so... Not bad. This whole thing has been playing kind of like really tongue in cheek and it's kind of hard to take the series seriously, but this was an episode where it actually kind of hit the mark in the in the feels a little bit and got a chance to see uh, Faye's younger self and she connected. I was kind of, I can't lie, there was a part of me that was hoping that they got the tape and they kind of ended the episode and then they had a whole episode of them trying to find the VCR. That was an interesting episode in the anime, but regardless, we still got a chance to get a really for real heartfelt moment right so <laughs> so this episode is starting off right after they had her exploration of her sexual prowess per se now she's reading a playboy and of course well, now she's reading a playboy and then i guess it's some other in the magazine all i know is there's a bunch of dudes and chaps um and then her mom shows up not a bad performance from the mom i, I wasn't expecting her to have you know a, this big of a of a role but she kills it i think spike wanted to smash because you know there's that moment where <laughs> she's like bent over at the uh at the refrigerator <laughs> it really wasn't subtle but, you know you got this old gray fox that kind of still got it i'm not mad at it she definitely knows how to push everybody's buttons play on people's emotions and spike's emotion is is food dumplings goodness now when i was saying earlier about like it's difficult for to find situations within this series where you're supposed to have like a really emotional touching moment and, and these are like some of the examples that i'm talking about when we get to, we get to see julie be kind of upset it just doesn't really like hit the mark for whatever reason like i want to be like angry for it and stuff but I don't know, it, it just seems kind of hokey. Yo, the two of them working together is good. It would it would be an interesting episode to just see them run cons together. They, they work really well off of each other. Yo, this is the spot I was talking about. <laughs> Come on, look at it, look. I mean, you know, I guess the old lady still trying to work it. Um, once again, these Julie scenes, like she has a presence in her look but I don't think anybody like really cares. Uh, the recital, you know what? The, the recital wasn't too bad either, but before we get there, we could talk about uh, everybody coming together so they can scheme. <laughs> Yo, my man with the perm and the process is hilarious. Now look at this, dough on top of dough. But I do like that they kind of unveiled the plot, give you a good idea of how it's all gonna go down. Vicious is just a little tiring. Beside it was probably one of the better heartfelt scenes. It still didn't hit as hard as in the end when Fake is watching the tape. But it was it was better. Emotionally speaking, I think this may be one of the stronger episodes. And I like the fact that the relationship that he has with uh, her new husband is is pretty decent. Meanwhile, Spike is fighting for his life in the <laughs> That goes to what I was saying, that it's difficult to kind of like keep a lot of it uh, serious because, you know, this kind of stuff is going on. And then this was the really big reveal. The big reveal of the episode to me is Faye's ship. Everybody knows Faye's ship. As soon as I saw the ship, I was like, oh, yeah, she's definitely going to get that before the end of the day and not ask for it. I don't think anybody saw the safe word coming and them role playing. It's a powerful man. It's the mink. I forgot what the safe word was. What was the safe word? Saddest stitch. Whatever that means. I mean, he did that like whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now let's get back to the lovemaking. 
Yeah, let's take a look at the ship again. This is a great reveal. Ship design has been one of the highlights of the, of the series. It's so good to finally see it. It's a little late. We're on episode seven, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> but nothing. Yeah, this this steals the show. They stuck the landing with this one. All right, and we'll end it with that. That's going to be it for... Uh, all right, so that's going to be it for episode seven. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't seen episode one through six, do yourself a favor and check it out. And the best way to know when the new ones are dropping is to click that subscription button, hit the bell icon, give us those thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows that, you know, you're digging what I'm giving to you. With that being said, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I'll catch you on the next one.